Hi everybody, I am that nursing prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Parkland burn formula. So let's get into it. So first of all, what is it? What is it used for? This is used to calculate the total amount of fluid replacement, typically lactated ringers, that is needed within the first 24 hours after a burn. This is used for patients who have large partial thickness burns, or they have 20% of their body surface full thickness burns, that's for adults. For children who have smaller bodies, 10% body surface full thickness burns. So these are the patients that we're going to use this for. And different people, different ages have different requirements. So in adults, typically, our fluid replacement is going to be four mLs per kilogram per total body surface area percentage. We're gonna give half of that in that first eight hours, and then we're going to space it out and give the second half of that amount over the next 16 hours. In children, it's gonna be slightly less, it's going to be three. And also special with children, they are going to get additional maintenance fluid on top of the lactated ringers. Some special um, populations as well we want to make sure I mention. So patients who have cardiac disease, a lot of fluid replacement might not be safe for them. So a smaller amount, like 2 mLs per kg per total body surface area percentage, or our frail elderly. Um, so just because you're an adult doesn't mean you're a very large person, right? Maybe you might be very small like a child. So our frail elders also need a smaller amount. And then another group, a special type of burns, is those who have electrical burns. So electrical burns, they will require a higher amount of fluid replacement in that first 24 hours. So they're going to be 6 mLs per kg per total body surface area percentage. So how do we figure out this percentage of total body surface area? We're going to use something called the rule of nines. So this is where in the adult and the child, we have assigned different regions of the body different percentages. So for example, the child needed 10% full thickness burn. So that could be their hand, which is 1%, and their one arm, which is 9%. So just that is enough okay, to be considered a severe enough burn on a child. On an adult, remember it was 20%, so it could be something like their chest and both their hands, or whatever, you know, just some examples. So the rule of nines is very helpful because everything is either in a denomination of one or nine on the adult to help you kind of determine the total body surface area. Not pictured on here is the back. So the back is also its own 18%. So this is for the adult. For the child, it's a little bit different because of course they're a little bit smaller. So instead of each leg being 18% of their body surface area, it's 13.5%. So a little bit special thing to note about the child. And then also, why LR? Why is that our fluid replacement of choice? LR is great because it helps treat not only the hypovolemia, but the extracellular sodium deficit that is caused by the burn. So that is why it is our fluid replacement of choice. Now let's do a little example when it comes to determining total body surface area using the rule of nines. So we have an adult patient. They have burns on the front and back of both of their legs and both of their arms. So what percentage of total body surface area is burned? So using the rule of nines, we know that each leg front and back total is 18%. So we have left leg, right leg, 18 plus 18. And then when it comes to the arms, each arm front and back is 9%. So we'll add 9% to 9%. So left arm, right arm. So our total percent is 54. So their total body surface area that is burned is 54%. Now what are we gonna do with this number? 
Once we know their weight, we are going to plug this in to that formula and it's going to help us figure out how much fluid resuscitation they will need. So that was my video on the Parkland Burn Formula and the Rule of Nines. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.